Hello ladies and gentlemen, some days ago I received a new squonking RDA, it's called the Knight Lowrider, made in collaboration between Sturmmods and Amber Mods, both of Poland, and I want to share my first impressions with you. I received my Knight Lowrider in this box. Inside I found the Etty itself, and as I ordered the full set, I also got a bunch of top caps made of white and uh, black Delrin, Altem and Clear and a bunch of various drip tips in the same colors. For the Etty itself looks like this. And it's in a small package right there, the Etty itself. Underneath you will find a pair of uh, spare screws, a very tiny Allen key, a spare O-ring and a spare 510 pin. This is Squonk 2, so one is installed, one is a spare. It's a Squonking RDA only. And this is the Etty itself. I show you some comparisons in size because this is really, really tiny, almost ridiculous tiny. But first, let's see how it works with the drip tips. There's a threaded segment where you just change. the drip tip itself. You can screw it on on there. Looks like this. I like this very much as this is airtight and there are no o-rings. As this thing is really really tiny here, size comparison, later on put into perspective. This one is a Vapor Giant 30mm, this is Vape EC, a 24mm uh, from Vaponaut. This is a Mark Box Charm. Here you have a Haku. Here you have a very tiny nipple, TJD nipple, 18mm on a Rayo Mini. And here what I thought so far, the sm one of the smallest um, Adler Micro BF. So let's put it into perspective. Okay, and the Knight Lowrider comes here. <laughs> this is on an 18350 tube. Here's another size comparison, some car keys, this is an 18650 and this is a night low rider on an 18350 tube. Size wise this is just ridiculous small. So let's take a closer look on the night low rider uh, which I actually screwed on this because it's ridiculous looking <laughs> it's just fun it's an 18350 sorrow mods woodpecker but so I can also hold it in my hands much better and show you better so let's take a closer look on the deck and the Etty itself you see the airflow on one side same on the other, it's a top airflow. You see it's very reduced, very slim. So we'll take the top cap off, have a look on the deck. Looks like this. Of course single coil. 
the actual airflow is here that's the airflow and these are the slots where the wire goes I'll show it to you from from above and you will see a little bit better airflow coming from both sides and two slots for the wires uh, my recommendation on building this uh, this is a three millimeter coil and you see there's a lot of space my recommendation would be three millimeters or two and a half maybe three and a half um, on each side for the cotton try to fluff it out as much as you can to fill up the whole deck don't don't put a single strand in some corner just fluff it out on both sides so it will squonk very very nicely for the screws let me turn This is the tool I use for it. I don't use the uh, the small hex Allen key that came with it, but a tool, a real tool like this. This is a hex screwdriver. It's 0 0.9 millimeters and does the work very well. It's very actually very easy to screw these tiny screws with a proper screwdriver like this. Highly recommended. Uh, what other tips can I give you? Uh, put it legs down and pull it up a little bit so you see the space underneath. A lot of air can go through there. So not legs up, that won't be a good idea. Legs down is better in my opinion. So let's see how it goes on a squonk mod itself and how that looks. So I put the night lowrider on an N Quadro screen, actually the Super Mario uh, limited edition. Uh, and my recommendation mod wise would be a smaller mod like this. So it fits very nicely because if you use some mod with curvature or a catch cup like this, uh, you could likely imagine you can't even take a proper pull from it. It's just too low, too small. So a smaller mod like this would be ideal. How does it squonk? Does it over squonk? Uh, to be honest, not really. It's just like the Adler Micro BF, it squonks very easily. But it doesn't tend to over squonk, it soaks up quite a bit. For you to have a better view, I use the clear cap. Just align the air slots. Put it down. Goes on like this. It looks like this. A squonk again. Even almost filled up to the air holes, it does not really over squonk. So 
So, how does it wave? Well, it waves pretty similar to the Adler Micro PF. It's very short in height, not much room, pretty condensed chamber, very small, awesome flavor, and just like the Adler Micro, a restricted direct lung. It has a pretty big restriction, but it's definitely not master lung or an open drawer. It's right in there in between. I played around with the airflow a little bit and just like with the Adler, I just set it on fully open, maybe half closed. That's it. That's the way it works just fine. It's pretty silent. It has a pretty smooth airflow. It doesn't whistle. That's awesome. For flavor, it's just awesome. And if you like a, a really restricted draw, it's just the right thing. Don't expect huge clouds or a mouth to lung experience. It's none of None of that. It's restricted direct lung and it does that very nicely. For the tiny size, yes, of course, if you chain wave, it gets pretty warm, almost hot, uh, according to your build. So I would re even recommend to put it on a regulated mod to fine tune it if you have overdone with your coil and it's too too hefty but in this case I have no 0 0.6 ohms unregulated or on a MOSFET um, not a problem not too hot just fine Awesome, I like it. The Night Lowrider by Sturm Mods and Ember Mods. Uh, for details, uh, go and check out the face group, uh, uh, Facebook groups. I link it down in the description. So, have a nice day.